Hi, this is Deborah Potter at News Lab, and this video is an updated tutorial on how to create a Google Map. The old system, which used Google Docs and gadgets, is no more, so now you have to begin here at Maps Engine, all one word, mapsengine.google.com. You need to be logged in to a Google account in order to use this, uh, which I am, and of course Google accounts are free. So I'm going to click here to create a new map, and it will open a drawing board, if you will, a place where I can begin to add information, and I'll start by adding a name to the map. It says, edit the map title, and in this case it's going to be quite simple. It'll be just Bethesda Drug Stores. And I'm going to save that. I don't really want to add a description. Sort of self-evident uh, self what I'm creating. And then I need to put the data in so that it can draw the map. And in this case, you click here and it says, import data and you have a couple of choices. You can drag in a file, either a spreadsheet or a comma separated file, or you can select a file from your computer and upload it. In my case, I already have this file in my Google Drive. So I'll simply click there and click on Drugstores by Zip and it will import this data. Now, it's a very simple spreadsheet. It has exactly two columns. So when it comes into this Google uh, maps creating engine, it will ask me what I want to do with that data. It should be quicker than this, I don't really know why it's taking so long, but as soon as it comes in, there it is, you get to choose where you want to put the place marks, and it's asking for me to tell it where, where the information is, the address, if you will, as to where I want these place marks, so it's under address, of course, because I only have one column. But if I had a spreadsheet with multiple columns, street address, um, city, state, zip code, I'd have to click them, cl uh, click them all, or the map would have no idea what to do with the data. But in this case, it's all in one box, so I say address. Then it says, what are you going to title this? Now again, I only have one choice, but if I had many, I would choose what it was that I wanted to title each of these place marks. In this case, the name. Okay, fine. So now it's going to quickly, I hope, build this map. And when it comes up, you'll see every place mark is there. If I click on them, I can find out what the name of it is and the address because it's in the address uh, box. But they're all exactly the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. I'm going to say I'd like to change these labels. I'd like to, to add labels so that my user can see what they're looking at immediately without clicking. So to do that, I just say I'm going to name each of these pins, and now they each have a name. See, CVS is this pin, and Village Green is this pin. So now they're labeled. But even so, I'm not quite happy because I'd like to be able at a glance to tell which of these are part of a chain and which are not. So in this case, I'm going to style it by the data column of name. All right, so each name is going to now get grouped in the same style if it's the same name, like so. So as soon as I did that, now you notice all the CVSs are the same color on the map, and the others are different colors. As it happens, I have five CVSs in this area, but only one of a variety of things. So there are six different colors, and or seven different colors, and the CVSs are all the same. Okay, that's step one. Now, if I wanted to, I could edit this, these place marks. And in this case, I'm going to do so on this one. What am I going to do? Well, I just thought for fun, it might be good to add an image. So if somebody's actually looking for this, they might be able to discover it by what it looks like. So I actually have saved. You can add an image lots of different ways. You can search for one. You can put in a YouTube video if you wanted, but in this case I have the image saved here by the URL. So I'm simply going to copy the URL and go back to my map and put in the image URL like this. There it is. I'll select it. So now if someone clicks on the push pin, they'll not only get the address, they'll get a picture of the drugstore. It's pretty simple uh, as you can see. There are lots of things you can do with it to make it more interesting, but this is just to get you started. So there you are, making a Google map with a new maps engine. This is Deborah Potter at News Lab. Thanks for watching.